So as noted yesterday, the strict, well, the Jewish literary style, they repeat. And I mentioned yesterday Psalm 23 verse 2, Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. So using parallelism assumes, assuming that the second explains and interprets the first, we can deduce that the kingdom of God is a society upon earth in which God's will is perfectly done as it is in heaven. Now that is all binding. Right? And I think there's a little song we would live and have a little heaven down here. So we ought to live in peace, tranquility, harmony. So we live in heaven here so that when our time comes, we just pass automatically into the perfect heaven. So I'll read it again so that it can. Using parallelism assumes the second explains and interprets the first. We can deduce that the kingdom of God is a society on this earth in which God's will is as perfectly done as in heaven. Therefore, when people, when all of us fully accept the will of God, we are within the kingdom of God. When we accept the will of God, we live within the kingdom of God. So that puts us into a different well realm when we talk about the kingdom of God, the will of God. Well, sir, I'm praying, you know, I'm praying for the will of God. Well, what is the will of God? Well, whatever God wants. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Try to be specific. What is the will of God? Follow the commandments, follow the Beatitudes, follow the life of Jesus. Therefore, when we live fully, I mean, we accept fully the will of God, we live within the kingdom. And when we do not accept the will of God, we are outside. So what is happening? We are outside, we are inside. Sin pulls us outside. God's grace brings us inside. So we, once we keep close to God, we are in the kingdom. Once we keep close to evil and wrong things, we are out. We move. And, and of course, Jesus always wants us to move from darkness into light.